So some have been asking me to do a video on my gear. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there by others who have uh, shown off some of their gear setups. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do mine finally. This is uh, going to have a lot of the gear that I do typically take out on uh, a lot of the trips that I go on. Uh, some things are a little bit uh, different, but uh, we'll talk about that as we get going. Uh, this particular setup is what I will be taking with me on the Uinta Highline Trail this next week. Uh, that's going to be the longest truck I've ever done to date. It'll be about 70 miles, and that uh, is about 5 miles longer than the 65 mile hike I've uh, done before over 4 days and 3 nights. So, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the outside. Um, so, got these two trekking poles, I usually use them. I uh, don't usually have them strapped on my pack, except uh, when it, uh, going is really easy. But uh, these I got at Costco, they're, they're Cascade Mountaineering carbon fiber poles. They get them in every spring and summer. Uh, they're about $30 and uh, they've held up pretty well for me, so I like them. Um, I also take a couple bandanas, these are multi-use multi-purpose. Um, you can use them for first aid, for splinting, uh, you can use them to uh, uh, screen out silt uh, as, as you pre-filter water for your water filter uh, if the water is really silty. Um, you can just uh, use them to put under your hat, use as a sunshade, uh, use to wash your hands and feet and uh, you know, wash your body off. Uh, uses a little sweat towel, uh, lots of uses for your typical cotton bandana. Um, okay, in my uh, front sleeve pocket here, I've got uh, a couple gallon Ziploc bags. I'll be using these as just garbage bags. Um, here's an op sack uh, that I have a uh, couple Ziploc bags, empty Ziploc bags for uh, packing out toilet paper. This is the clean toilet paper. Um, this is for when I'm in an area that you can't really bury it or it's uh, not kosher to bury it. And then uh, I've got a uh, little hand sanitizer that I carry with it. And uh, this offset bag helps just keep any odor inside of it. course trowel to go with it. Um, sometimes I take this, sometimes I don't, sometimes I can just rely on sticks and stakes, but I think for this trip I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Um, there's a little uh, sit pad that I like to take. This is just makes uh, sitting on the rocks or logs in camp a lot nicer uh, to rest on. This is uh, a Tyvek ground cloth that I made, uh, so I just use that as the ground cloth that goes under my uh, tent. So I usually don't take any kind of camp shoes, uh, but for this trip, uh, I think we're going to be spending a lot of time in the afternoons around our camp, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take these. They weigh about five ounces for the pair, uh, so not too bad. And uh, it'll be nice to also wear them on the car ride up and the car ride back. So, um, yeah, camp shoes. Okay, so part of my cook kit here on the outside, I've just got a little uh, GSI mug here. And I see the Summit uh, Spork. Uh, it looks like titanium, feels like titanium, but it's actually um, anodized uh, aluminum. Okay, 
Uh, this is my tent. It's got the fly and the tent body in here uh, with the uh, tent poles that I pack on the side. Uh, it's about three and a half pounds. Uh, not the lightest tent out there, but uh, not too bad for a $50 tent. Um, someday maybe I'll have a two, two and a half pound tent and uh, that'll be really nice when I get there. Um, I actually would pack a tarp and just go with a tarp uh, on this trail if um, I didn't expect to spend a lot of time in camp. Uh, we're only going to be doing 10 to 12 miles a day and so we'll probably be rolling into camp if weather lets us uh, around noon or early afternoon each day and then we're going to have the rest of the afternoon to hopefully explore and bag some nearby peaks uh, around each camp. But the forecast is looking a bit shady right now. Uh, there's a good chance we're just going to be uh, taking shelter uh, against some rainstorms uh, every afternoon. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take the extra weight of this tent, uh, you know, knowing that there's a good chance of having to sit out, might as well uh, be able to stretch out and, and have some comfort with, uh, with the tent uh, and the extra shelter that this provides. Um, okay, uh, so on either side pocket, uh, these are my fuel bottles for stove fuel. Uh, it's uh, their old um, smucker or juice bottles that our kids have used, and I've just uh, you know repurposed them to serve as fuel bottles, and I just put heat, or uh, you could also use denatured alcohol because I'll be using an alcohol stove. So that's my stove fuel, and as I use that, these water bottles weigh almost nothing, so uh, they're going to be very, very lightweight by the time the fuel's used up. And of course, uh, you know, water bottles. Okay, I hooked under the uh, onto one of the shoulder straps here. Uh, I've got luxury item, just a little uh, small pair of compact binoculars. Those are nice for sighting wildlife with and just scoping out the uh, terrain around. I don't usually, I don't always take these, but uh, you know, for this trip, I probably will. So, um, and then this is uh, my case I use for storing my glasses. I've got sunglasses, and then I've got a pair of eyeglasses that I'll be. Uh, storing in there and, and it'll hold both of them at night and then while I'm on the trail I usually got my sunglasses on so I'll store my eyeglasses in there and then when it gets uh, starts to get dark I'll exchange the uh, sunglasses for my eyeglasses so okay on the other uh, clipped onto my other shoulder strap. Um, I've got a Sea to Summit uh, mosquito head net right here. I've got a little uh, little uh, towel that comes out of this little pouch here. It's a little tiny pack towel. Uh, I've got a little um, thermometer on here. A miniature a tripod and uh, that is ultra light for a miniature tripod. Uh, I like it. So. And that is actually called a Pedco. And then also I've got a little uh, a little Gerber dime uh, pocket knife utility tool that I carry on that. Okay, if I uh, get into uh, the side pockets of the, the lid here. So on this side, I've got a black diamond spot headlamp. A little container of uh, matches and fire starter. Um, 
This is my uh, action camera waterproof casing here. I've also got a couple little spare batteries for the camera uh, that I'm just going to store in there for now. And then a little skeleton uh, case for the back door. So on the top of the lid here, I've got my uh, Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. Uh, also going to be taking a mini because uh, the guys I'm going with, I don't think that they have a filter, so it'll be nice to have the extra filter uh, as well as uh, be able to use it for backup. And so I love the Sawyer Squeeze, very versatile, uh, lots of reviews out there on on YouTube as well, but I may just do my own uh, with my own little uh, tips and techniques on how I use it and how versatile it is uh, in a future video. I like to carry these little these gloves. They're uh, these uh, 180s convertible um, gloves that uh, convert to uh, a uh, windproof mitten there. So that can protect you against the elements. Um, so I do have sensitive hands, so it's nice to have some gloves to uh, protect my hands, especially going up and over the passes up on peaks where it gets really windy and the wind chill can cut right through. Uh, these are really nice to have in those situations. Um, first aid kit, uh, really compact, uh, lots of stuff in here though. Uh, maybe more than I need, but uh, it's nice to have a little bit of extra just in case uh, you know someone else in your group or some, someone else that you come across on the trail is in need of something. Uh, so I like it. Uh, I uh, kind of added on to what was already in this little um, adventure medical kit, uh, one person first aid kit. And I will do a, another video in the future on all the things that I actually do have packed into this little kit here. Uh, my toiletry kit right here consists of a little travel package of wet wipes and a little packet of flossers, one flosser for each night. And then for a toothbrush and toothpaste I actually um, pack a little uh, Colgate Wisp for an ultralight toothbrush and then I just take a little travel pouch of uh, toothpaste. So that uh, is my dental hygiene kit there. And I also carry a little bit of like body glide and Bandy's got a brand of stuff too. It's a friction blocker, helps to prevent chafing and, and uh, blisters. Um, and in the event that I do get blisters, there's just a couple extra blister band-aids here from Band-Aid. Got a couple of these also in my first aid kit. Okay, um, here's a repair kit that I carry. Uh, I'm not going to go into that in detail. I can do another video specifically on the repair kit in the future as well. And then just a basic little compass here. Okay, moving on to the uh, bottom of my lid here. A uh, little luxury item. I like to carry this little star chart. Just uh, fun to gaze up at the stars and look at the constellations and this helps you to identify those constellations. Um, got a little 1500 milliamp button charger here and then I've got a old iPod Nano and headphones in the bag here. Um, iPod uh, is great especially on a trip like this. Again we may be uh, spending a lot of time taking shelter from uh, thunderstorms in our tent in the camp at, uh, in the afternoons and evenings, so uh, it'd be nice to have the uh, iPod be able to listen to you and uh, some audiobooks and podcasts and whatnot to, uh, to listen to 
uh, you know, if, if again we're tied up at camp for the evening, the afternoons. Okay, uh, last thing in the, the, the lid here is I uh, do you like to carry a little uh, book of scripture here? Yes, I'm LDS or Mormon. We do believe in a little uh, book of scripture called the Book of Mormon, uh, another testament of Jesus Christ. So this is a nice little uh, backpacker-sized uh, Book of Mormon here. It's got a leather casing here, a picture of uh, Jesus Christ on the back there. So, uh, so again, that's a, a luxury item for me, obviously. Uh, I carry a little bit, tiny little notebook here. It's good for just little field notes or, you know, worst case scenario as extra emergency fire starter. Um, and this is a new little charger I picked up. It's 20,000 milliamps. Supposedly good enough to uh, charge my phone four or five times. So we'll see how that does. Uh, it's kind of heavy, about 11 or 12 ounces, uh, maybe maybe 13, 14 ounces. can't remember. It's right around there, just, just under a pound. So um, and then I carry a little pen and a little cable in there. So um, let's see, moving on to the interior of the pack. Uh, I've got a little lightweight uh, Adidas um, windproof jacket here, lightweight jacket. Uh, I like to wear this just, you know, when it's a little bit chilly, uh, when it's windy, helps block the wind. And uh, so, yeah, pretty basic jacket there. Um, I like to uh, carry my snacks, my trail food for the day in a little offsack here that helps keep the odor inside and from going on to other things in the pack. But uh, it's just got a bag of tortillas in there that's going to be used up over the week. Um, I am going to be doing a, another video on all my food, so uh, look for that for uh, more reasons why I pack this the way I do and how I do it. Um, and of course I've got a, a quart size Ziploc bag here uh, full of some snacks and other lunch items that I'll be uh, wanting quick access to on the trail throughout the day without digging into my uh, main food bags. Okay, so here's my cook kit. Uh, I just did videos on how, to, uh, how I came up with this. Um, used rubber bands to kind of keep the cozy in place when it's traveling. Um, inside is the lid there. And inside the cook pot here, I uh, carry a little uh, sack here with a little um, little towel, uh, a sponge, a uh, little mini Bic lighter, and a little container of some Dr. Dr. Bronner soap. I can use this dish soap if needed. Also inside this um, pot is the little uh, pot gripper I will be using. And then uh, inside is my uh, alcohol stove setup, so a little cat can alcohol stove. A uh, little aluminum foil um, base plate that the uh, stove will sit on and that helps just uh, protect the ground from the flame and also reflect the, the heat up toward the pot. Um, and then around the pot and the alcohol stove goes a uh, aluminum windscreen that I have. Um, also, we'll be taking this little outdoor products uh, 
day pack or summit sack. I uh, got this at Walmart and really like it because it's really uh, small and compact and weighs very little and but it expands to a nice little uh, backpack here and uh, it's plenty big for holding all your essentials for uh, going up to hike up some peaks uh, from your camp or from the passes and so uh, yeah I like to just carry a water bottle in there for aid kit, snacks, jacket and all those essentials um, for little short side trips Okay, another little luxury item uh, for this, specific for this trip. Uh, we're going to be hoping to get up on King's Peak on the way, and that's the highest point in Utah. Uh, so it'll be fun uh, to take this little flag here and uh, wave it around. It's a uh, BYU flag. A uh, friend, friend that I'm going with, we both work at BYU. We're fans of BYU sports, and so... We're well, just going to have some fun on King's Peak with a flag, probably. Okay, rain gear. Uh, got just a Frog Togs poncho here. I've got a lighter weight poncho, but uh, I like this one because it's a little more durable. And again, there's a good chance of it raining a lot on this trip. So it would be nice to have the extra durability uh, for a few extra ounces. And it's also got some snap closures uh, that help close down the tarp, or sorry, not the tarp, the, uh, the poncho has some snap closures to uh, hold it shut so that the wind can't flap it up around you and, and blow wind into the side of you. So, um, food bag and another food bag. Inside my bag I also have this uh, plastic liner that I like to use for everything that I don't want getting wet. Um, so that's usually my sleeping system, my sleeping bag, sleeping pad, my clothing that I'll be sleeping in, camp clothing to change into at camp, and so forth. So first of all, I actually just have a garbage bag here, a little kitchen garbage bag that I hacked uh, by putting a little half inch PVC to drip line converter uh, and just uh, rig that up to the corner of this bag with a little hole in it that I popped through, taped it around, and this I use to inflate my sleeping bat pad with. Uh, works really well and it's really nice not having to worry about getting lightheaded after uh, breathing in so much to blow up your pad. Okay, so I've got a long sleeve Columbia shirt here. Got that on sale, can't remember where, but uh, it's really nice. Um, just an extra layer to throw on in camp for a little extra warmth. I can uh, throw that on and pair that with my jacket here and that'll add a little bit extra warmth without getting too hot. Um, I like to wear it in the mornings when I'm starting out the hike before the sun comes out and gets too warm. Uh, it helps, again, um, keep me a little warmer when it's chilly, starting out those morning hikes. Uh, and also, I can wear it even when it's sunny and warm out. And if I uh, don't have any sunscreen with me, if I run out or I need to conserve sunscreen, uh, I can wear this. The long sleeves will definitely uh, protect my arms against sunburn. And yeah, so a really versatile long sleeve shirt here. Um, just a pair of uh, gym shorts. Uh, I can wear this around camp if it's warm out. Uh, if there's a lake that's worth jumping into, you know, I can throw these on, go for a little swim. Uh, so, and if it's unusually warm out um, at nighttime, I can just wear these to to bed. Um, so typically. Uh, I'll wear this for sleeping in. This is a Terramar fleece base layer top. Uh, so it's quite nice. And then also I've got these uh, really lightweight um, fleece 
uh, pants uh, that again I'll typically sleep in when it's going to be getting somewhat cool out. I will. Uh, I like to sleep in these. Um, carry a little uh, fleece beanie here and some uh, stretchy gloves here. Uh, these are just nice to have um, to handle things inside the tent uh, when it is cold. Uh, again, my hands are sensitive and so, uh, you know, I like to have those. It's a comfort item. A um, pair of extra socks. A down, lightweight down puffy jacket. Um, so this is good just for when it gets cold, uh, and it will get cold up there at the elevation we'll be at. Uh, it's great to have for late nights and early mornings sitting around camp when you're not moving around too much. This is a very nice and worthwhile item to have. And this one is a Gary brand. I got it for like 50 bucks at Costco. And I think it compares really well to the more expensive Patagonias and other brands out there that are twice as much and more. Um, got a pair of wigwam wool socks. These are nice and thick wool socks I like to wear for sleeping in. Okay, and here's my sleeping pad. Uh, it's a Teton Sports Altos uh, insulated sleeping pad. Uh, about one and a half pounds, not the lightest pad I have, um, but by far the most comfortable pad I have. Uh, so again, um, given the likelihood that we'll be um, sitting in camp a lot in the afternoons and evenings, uh, not being able to do much because of the likelihood of rainstorms uh, and thunderstorms um, putting a halt to us, uh, it'll be nice to just have something comfortable to sit on and lay on in the tent and uh, you know get that much better sleep at night with it. Um, again if I was hiking 20 miles a day, 15-20 miles a day like a through hiker um, I would definitely take a lighter sleeping pad that I've got and again I would also ditch the tent and take a tarp and just use the tarp for shelter. Um, and then this is a really new item I just recently acquired. It is the Teton Sports um, Altos 20 degree sleeping bag. It is a, a down sleeping bag and I will do a review on this and the sleeping pad in uh, some future videos as well. But uh, I've already had this out on the trail a couple nights. Uh, in some lower Uinta elevations and as chilly as it got those nights this bag kept me really warm. Uh, I even had to unzip it both nights to uh, ventilate because it was getting so warm and sweaty so I'm, I'm very happy about uh, this bag and I have no doubt it will uh, be a great uh, addition to the gear for this Uinta uh, Highline trip. So. And that is two and a half, just under two and a half pounds with the stuff sack. I don't usually carry stuff sacks, I usually just stuff the bag right into the bottom of my pack. But uh, I needed this compressed as tightly as I could to have as much space as I possibly could uh, to pack everything else. Mainly because uh, this food is a lot more than I usually take. So I needed that extra space. Okay, and I just happened to have an extra pair of underwear in the bottom there too. So that's it for what's inside my pack. And uh, lastly, flip it around here. I've got some tent stakes in here that I just uh, keep inside a little old uh, glasses case. And uh, I like to carry just all the um, MSR mini groundhogs. Uh, another little bit of a luxury item I ha like to have that just gives me a little bit extra peace of mind is a 
uh, Light My Fire Mora knife. It's got a little flint steel on it, and uh, or a little flint uh, starter with the steel uh, blade on it. Um, so that also serves as an emergency fire starter. And on this shoulder pad, I've got a little emergency whistle. Um, and finally, in my uh, hip belt pockets here, carry a couple, uh, a, a lighter or two, and then I'll also put like an energy bar, some snack bars in there. Uh, to just... And uh, this pocket here is where I carry a sunscreen, another little thing of hand sanitizer, and uh, some chapstick here. And I think that rounds out uh, all the gear that uh, I could take on this trip. Most of this gear is stuff I will normally take on most of my trips. Again, some of the things that uh, vary are my sleeping bag, my tent or shelter system. Sometimes I'll take a hammock, sometimes I'll take the tarp. Um, but, you know, on this trip, taking the tent. So, and then if I'm going with my wife or family, you know, what tent I take will be a different tent as well. So, um, hope that gives you guys uh, who are looking for gear videos some ideas for you know what's available out there. Um, but again, if you search YouTube, there's a lot of other people that uh, show off their gear, and everyone's different. Everyone's got different uh, collections of gear. There's so many different brands and companies out there that make so many different uh, products. Uh, for hiking and backpacking, camping, and so, um, yeah, it's just something that continually evolves for me as I find things that I like more and try to lighten up my pack or find things that give me a little luxury and comfort for in camp. Uh, so it's always a, a balance between comfort on the trail and comfort in camp and what the objective of the trip is. Uh, how many miles I'm going to be doing, how much time I may be spending in camp, those all dictate, uh, you know, what I'm going to take and how light I want to go. So I think that wraps it up. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe if you like uh, the videos I'm putting out now. Uh, lots more to come with uh, some gear reviews, tips and tricks and uh, a whole lot more uh, trail videos of uh, highlights from trips that I do. So.